Okay, so it's the day after the Kamloops uh, game at the Sandman Center. And then I was always wanted to watch walk this bridge since I learned about this town, Kamloops. I'm going to walk this bridge. This is the people bridge over the train tracks. And then pretty soon we've got to get going. I mean, it's snowing a bit. I mean, the people I see who are driving are just... They're just driving through it like it's nothing. It's pretty soft snow. It's like two inches, but I don't have that much experience in driving in snow, so we'll see. Also, it doesn't look like many people are out today. It's uh, it's Saturday, so I think people are just staying in and avoiding driving in it. But we have to go two and a half hours to Kelowna, so see how that goes. <laughs> Twenty seconds later, I made it to the top. There's the ground over there. <laughs> cool. Okay, so the train noise is happening. The ding, 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 ding. I love snow. I love trains. I love bridges, and I got all three of them in this. So I don't see where the train's coming from. That one over there is just parked. Uh, Oh, here it comes, here it comes, it's over here. All right, I'm gonna flip the camera around. There it is. Going really slow. Looks like someone just got off the train. It's heading across the tracks. Will the train keep going? I don't know. Man, it looks like a blizzard from this view, but turn it back in, eh, not too bad. Okay, so after picking up people, dropping off people, finally the train is coming. Still going and going and going on both sides of the bridge. <laughs> flat tire. Oh, totally flat. Totally flat. Okay, so I guess you're not supposed to drive with summer tires when it's snowing. So we're gonna get a tow and we're gonna get um, snow tires put on at like Canadian Tire Center. Um. And overall, it, the, the quote was like 600 something, but that's in Canadian money, so that's even cheaper for us. Uh, I think it's a really good deal, actually, for winter tires. Uh, but yeah, we're stuck in the snow. We were over there, but they were able to push us off, which was great. We had some friendly Canadians help us, so I think it's like noon right now, maybe? Um, and we it takes like two hours to get to... Kelowna and the game's not till 7 so I think everything's gonna work out and then I'm gonna feel really good about driving the car the rest of this trip because after Kelowna we go to the Kootenai region for Cranbrook is the city and that's where the Kootenai ice play and then we have to drive back down through Washington State uh, across the pass if it's open and winter tires will be good so uh, all in all it's an adventure everyone we've passed said yeah it's not normally this snowy this time of year but it's what we're getting it wasn't snowing at all yesterday until we went to bed and woke up to this. Hi. What you doing? He wants to get dressed and go play in the snow. Oh, of course. <laughs> you like the snow? You like to eat the snow, huh? Okay. Keep your head on, it's cold. Snow. That's all you want to do is eat the snow? And take your head off? Okay. We're in the, uh, the, um, tow truck now. Brooke, are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> Canadian adventure is continuing. Okay. We made it to the stadium, Brooke. We made it to the stadium. Yay! Yay!
end of period one, Kelowna Rockets won, Edmonton Oil Kings won, tie game. We're giving fun? No, no. She's having fun, she's just being a drama queen. Okay, end of period two, Edmonton two, Kelowna two. What do you think of the game so far, Brooke? Brooke, overtime. Are you excited for overtime? Okay, so Rockets lost the shootout 3-2, Edmonton Oil Kings won.